work on your mindset as well as skill set to improve your GMAT score. Hi, my name is Mandeep. I'm a GMAT coach and founder of GMAT Mantra. Yesterday, I was discussing a quiz with one of my students. So the student has been through the basic classes and after the classes, I put all my students through quizzes. So it's a 30 minutes quiz which has 20 questions. So this specific student got 7 questions right out of 20. Or more specifically, he could attempt 16 questions and he got 7 questions right. So I asked him to solve all the incorrect questions in front of me. So when he was solving the question that he got incorrect in the quiz, he could follow the right approach, he could give me the right reasoning for elimination, eliminating the wrong options. So everything went well. I asked him what happened during the quiz. He said that during the quiz when there is a time pressure, he get anxious. He gets some kind of you know stress. So I said that has he done anything to improve his anxiety or his stress levels? He said no. So I think I asked him what he is planning to do to overcome or improve his accuracy. He said that he's thinking of increasing his practice, doing more questions. I said that he has been practicing for last so many months, and on a given day when he I give him a uh, question irrespective of the level, he could solve it with the right reasoning, with the right approach. So I said that you don't have a problem with your skill set. The problem is mindset. Because you get anxious when you look at the clock. And you know, anxiety is not just because of this particular clock. There are various factors that are contributing to this anxiety. But somehow, maybe you know, you're rushing towards something. Maybe there is some other kind of tension going on which is impacting you while you give the test. He said that he has not done anything to improve his anxiety levels. So I said no point you know practicing more questions because on a given day if you can get you know very high accuracy without time pressure, more practice will not improve his accuracy under time pressure. So rather than working on his knowledge or his uh, skill set, he needs to focus on his mindset. He needs to understand how to you know bring down the anxiety levels how to reduce the stress because again it's a kind of habit because you're not you know stressed out or anxious throughout the day sometimes you're anxious sometimes you're not so when you're anxious something happens because of which you're getting anxious so i asked him to invest next one or two weeks to understand how to bring down the anxiety because there are different ways you can go for meditation you can focus on gratitude you can focus on appreciation. So there are different factors you can work upon to reduce the anxiety. But you have to focus on it. You know, we just think that, okay, because we are getting anxious, we can't do anything about the anxiety. So anxiety is a habit that you have, you know, you've gathered over a period of time. So again, if it's a habit, you can change it. So again, if you're also, you know, struggling, if your knowledge is fine when you're giving, you know, solving questions, you're getting high accuracy but during your mocks or your timed practice you're facing difficulty don't focus on skill set you have done enough because if you're getting your accuracy right you know consistently you're getting high accuracy you're fine knowledge wise now focus on the right mindset which is how to control your anxiety how to control your stress during the time pressure thank you